Today we're talking about equation of a line from slope and a point. So up to this point, we have looked at the equation of a line and what the different parts tell us. We've graphed lines. We've found the point of intersection by graphing lines. We've calculated slope. We learned how to calculate y-intercept. And now we're going to try to put it all together um, with the actual equation of a line. So I had to restart this video, which means the first part of this lesson is already filled in, but I'm going to talk you through it. So it says determine the equation of a line with a slope of 11 over 7 and a y-intercept of 9. So the basic form for the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, and x and y represent the points on the line. So I know from the question that the slope m is 11 over 7 and that the y-intercept b is 9. So if I substitute those into this equation, I get y equals 11 over 7x plus 9. So in your equation, you need to have variables. You want to have an x and a y. That's what allows us to calculate points on our line, which is kind of the whole point of having an equation. So our second equation, sorry, question, <laughs> says determine the equation of a line with a slope of 3 that passes through the point negative 2, negative 9. And we're going to do it graphically, and then we're going to do it algebraically. So there's two things in the question. One is the slope, the other one is the point. And I'm going to start with the point. So the point is negative 2, negative 9. So on my graph, I'm going to find negative 2 on the x. That's the side to side part, so that would be right here. And then on the y part, I'm going to find negative 9. And I'm going to make a point where those two meet. And this is going to be where I'm going to start my line from. So normally, if we're graphing the equation of a line, we would start with the y intercept. They didn't give us the y-intercept, um, but the slope is really just a roadmap of how to get from a point on the line to another point. So it doesn't really matter which point on the line you have as long as you have a line on your point. So, sorry, a point on your line. <laughs> so the second thing it gave us is the slope, which is 3. Um, that secretly is 3 over 1. You always want it to be a fraction. The number on top is the change in y. The number on the bottom is the change in x. So what that means is from this point, I am going to add 3 onto y or go up 3 and then add 1 onto x or move over 1. And then I'm going to make another point. And then I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to go up 3 over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3, over 1, up 3, over 1, and just keep going until I run out of grid space. Then I'm going to take a straight edge, and I'm going to draw my line. Okay, so there is a reason why I graphed this. And that is that in order to do my equation of a line, I need the slope, which I have, but I also need the y-intercept. So you can graph your line to help you figure out what the y-intercept is so that you can find your equation. So here, my y-intercept is where my line crosses my y-axis, which would be at negative 3. So my slope is 3. My y-intercept, that's b, is negative 3. So y equals mx plus b becomes y equals 3x. And then instead of doing plus negative 3, I'm just going to write minus 3. So the equation would be y equals 3x minus 3. So you can join me in the next video and we will go through how to do it using algebra.